Okay, so this is where I'm going to make a backup of the existing version 14 system information, including everything. It's a full backup, including the voicemails, the voice prompts, the recordings, and everything. And I kind of sped up some of the time for you, just so we don't have to sit there and watch everything. And also something to remember is you have to move your backups because once you uninstall version 14, which we will do next, you will need to move the soft the backups before you uninstall because once you uninstall, it deletes the backups folder. I repeat, before you uninstall, move the backups folder. And now it's uninstalled. I kind of did it speedy and cut a lot of the stuff out so you didn't see everything. It's all basic stuff, uninstalling, things like that. Now I'm installing the new version 15. I sped up the time. We're using the web GUI. For the configuration and the restore. Need to restore an existing backup. Hopefully you remembered to move the backups folder or the files at least. Look at them by date in time that way you have your most recent backup I also sped up the software I also sped up the setup procedure and the uploading procedure at this point in time you need to have your own 3CX certificate and um, fully um, fully qualified domain name. And here I'm selecting the default local IP. I don't have a managed DNS, so I have a small network. We don't have a domain controller or anything. This I also sped up. This whole process takes about 10 minutes. Uh, I didn't want you guys to sit and wait. It's long enough as it is without sitting and waiting for the entire procedure to get done. All right, so the 3CX installation is ready. At that point in time, it would have the username and password and all that good stuff. This is where we log in. We have to go through the configuration real quick just to make sure everything looks good putting in your admin emails, things like that. I obviously can't type that well. And I obviously blurred this part so you can't see my email settings. Even though I use GoDaddy, so it's not really all that important. I live in Eastern Time because I live in Maine. Obviously, North America. If you had to make other calls to other countries, you would place those check marks there. At this point in time, I'm familiarizing myself with the dashboard, making sure everything looks good. Obviously, this is a used 
live system. I also ran the firewall test just to make sure everything looks good. About halfway through, I'm going to stop it. I just want to make sure the basic ports are being forwarded. And I use this in junction with PFSense. If anyone has any issues or needs help getting it working, feel free to shoot me an email or message me on YouTube, comment down below. I'm usually really quick at getting back to people, as you can see from my version 12 how to video and all my other how to videos. I also had to restart the media server because it was stopped due to the firewall testing. Now what I'm doing is converting the recordings that were in the backup to WAV files because once they're in the backups, they are MP3 form, which 3CX cannot handle. Therefore, there is no audio. I repeat, if you have no audio for your auto attendant, it is due to the fact that you need to convert your uh, recordings. It's ULAW. You can look in 3CX. It's WAV file. It's mono, not stereo. The bit rate is 8 kilohertz. And it's 16 bit sample. And then you go to re upload those files afterward. This is my recording. If you have any issues, feel free to shoot me an email. Thank you.